All right, welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. So at this point, we have been through the spot run. Uh, we have also been through the whiting run, you know, out of the surf. The whiting are still around a bit. So now there's a bit of a puffer fish run. I don't know if you've eaten a puffer fish or you've seen a puffer fish, but they are rather good to eat. So I'm gonna try to give you a little bit of a close up here, uh, just of this fish. All right, so you can see, um, not a whole lot to look at. So you can see not a whole lot to look at from a fish standpoint, but um, you can see here's the bottom side, little yellow, white, striped kind of thing going on there, white belly. Um, and basically they bite shrimp. So same kind of rig that uh, you might use for a, a spot or croaker, uh, size six hook, you know, up to maybe a size one on, uh, depending on if you're using big bait, but shrimp, you know, will work for these. Uh, blood worms will work for these. Um, yesterday, actually, when I was fishing for these, I did actually do a little bit of a shrimp uh, artificial blood worm cocktail where I had them both on the same hook at the same time. So uh, that's how I was able to catch some of these. So what I'm going to do here real quick um, is show you how to go about cleaning these uh, so you will know how to get to this puffer fish goodness. All right, so I'm going to move my two fish in line out of the way. All right, so our, our cutting board is wet. So what I'm going to do here um, is I'm actually just going to cut right around the crown of the head here. So you're going to see me just make like an incision here, just basically get my way through the skin. So you need a sharp knife because it's like a skull here almost. We're cutting around. So basically there, after you get your cut through here like that, you're just going to grab, see how I'm just pulling the, pulling the uh, skin down? The skin here is not quite like a catfish, but very similar. So you can see that I have the skin nice and opened up there. So what I'm going to do now is take my index finger and my thumb and I'm just going to work them inside the skin here. Alright, just like that. So my, my fingers are down in there just like that. Alright, and I'm going to take the skin from the back and I'm just going to pull it down. And I'm just going to flip this bad boy inside out. So just like that, we're pulling that out. There you have it. So it's it's inside out. So it's basically skin now. Now you can see it looks like a big shrimp. So basically now I'm just cutting just like that. So like I said, you need a sharp knife. So we're cutting through. There's the head and the skin going across to my garbage disposal side there. And then we're just taking the guts here out. Just like that, knife down. So once you get them, you know, get them skinned. Really, it's just like gutting any other fish. All of that's gone. And you can see, that's all the meat we have. So they're pretty meaty. And a lot of people say they don't like to deal with them. And they do have little bones in them. I don't bother to try to fillet them, because to me, um, you know, being that they are a smaller fish, that's a waste of meat, you know. And um, I know you've seen my previous videos. I don't mind working around the bones. So I'm gonna do that again for you, just for your viewing pleasure and for your education. All right, so here we go. We're gonna make our incision again around the head. Just like that. We're going to get our skin started to pull down just like that. So we have our thumbnail pulling down, index finger and thumb of the other hand, just working our way down the sides of the fish here. Make a little more room. All right, so index finger and thumb, just working our way down. And now we're just taking that skin we're flipping that bad boy inside out, just like that. And it wouldn't hurt to actually do this with, um, you know, yellow uh, kitchen gloves because their skin is quite abrasive, you know, kind of like sandpaper. So you just flip it out just like that. And there's everything. And you just cut the head off, just like you normally would with any other fish. And just taking those guts just like that and that ladies and gentlemen is how you clean a puffer fish all right so I'm gonna get these bad boys cooked up here and uh, I may actually take you through that process as well show you how I batter them and all that good stuff but um, I'll be back to you for that I won't bore you here with all of this but we'll come back in a bit so uh, stay tuned I'm gonna get these in some some vinegar water just to uh, get some of the blood off 
let them soak a little bit, and then we'll get them battered up, and uh, I'll let you see how they look on the plate. All right, stay tuned.